everyone, this is Miss Helms. This is the final video for the Pythagorean Theorem problem. So, this problem's a little bit trickier. It is not as straightforward. We actually have two right triangles here. So, our goal in this problem is to solve for P. But in order to solve for P, which is the hypotenuse of this right triangle on the right-hand side here, we actually have to solve for this leg of the right triangle that's formed here using the 8 centimeters as one leg x as another leg, and 14 centimeters as a hypotenuse. So to do that, that's very similar to the problem that we did in video 2. So to, we're going to set up our equation. We know that x squared plus 8 squared is equal to 14 squared, using the Pythagorean theorem. To solve this, we have x squared plus 64 is equal to 196. To get x squared by itself, we're going to subtract 64 from both sides. So, x squared is equal to 132. And to get x by itself, we're going to take the square root of both sides of the equation. So, x is approximately, we're going to do a rounding to um, the tenths place, so 11.5. So, now we know this leg of the right triangle. And we also know the other leg of the right triangle. And we're talking about the right triangle on the right here, with P as a hypotenuse. So to solve this, now it's just setting up a Pythagorean theorem, using the Pythagorean theorem again to set up another equation. So one leg is 11.5, so 11.5 squared plus the other leg, 21 squared, is equal to P squared. So 11.5 squared is 132.25 plus 21 squared, which is 441, is equal to P squared. When we combine, when we add 132.25 plus 441, we will get 573.25 equals p squared. And to solve for this, we're going to, to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of 573.25 is approximately 23.9. So p is approximately 23.9 centimeters.